Hello everyone, this is Aditya Sakare. So today we are going to make a machine learning model which will predict whether patient having a heart disease or not. I applied KNERS never algorithm for this application. So let us start. So first step import packages. I imported NumPy, Pandas and Matloplip packages. NumPy, Pandas or packages are data science packages and Matloplip is a data visualization packages. So in this application, I used KNERS neighbor classifier. So I imported then since this is a Google Colab environment. So I cannot drive a data set from on this environment. So with help of this command, I uploaded data set. This data set I uploaded. After that, and this data is saved in DF variable. So after that, this is a DF dot info. Let's run. So DF dot info gave us insights of that data set, like the features in this data set. We have 14 features. So and 14 columns like this. After that, data pre-processing. Data pre-processing is required for the understandable data. So we, we are doing feature engineering and this uh, features we are gonna target. So then train test split. Okay, this is a command which are used for the train and test training and testing means the data set divided into training part and testing part and then I use standard scalar this is used for a standard value for understanding better way let's check like this one zero one zero so it is giving a whether patient having a uh, yes if he having a chest pain then one and if you are having not chest pain, then zero. And then we are doing cross validation. Okay, cross validation. In this uh, case, we used K in the scikit-learn model. So we created K nearest score for K in range 1 to 21. For means K value will be 1 to 21. And the classifier saved in K variable K. After that, the cross validation score will experiment 10 times. Let's let's uh, let's assume k is equal to 1, then uh, k is equal to 1, then it will iterate 10 times. 10 times we will give we will uh, get a mean score that is iteration 1, then it will uh, again perform 21 times, and then we get we got the perfect value. After that, this is a data visualization tool, Matloplip. Okay, we got messed up image. So let's open image into second tab. So as we can see, the one, two, three numbers are there. Means k is equal to one, k is equal to two, k is equal to three, four, five, and so on. So we can see the highest value in this graph is 12 and k is equal to 12 and its score is 0 0.85 percent so i added 12 iteration 12 let's run this is also run so our model is 85 percent accurate thank you